My name is Douglas Brush, and I'm the practice group leader of the Information Security and Governance Group at Kraft Kennedy. And we focus on a wide variety of governance, cybersecurity, forensics, e-discovery issues, and work with clients uh, across the globe, helping them solve their information security and governance problems. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk uh, here at Legal Tech this year about machine learning and artificial intelligence, um, just like there was a few years ago under the uh, name of uh, auspices of predictive coding. Um, do you think that that technology is actually here to stay this time? I think so. I think there's more lessons that we've learned from past implementations of putting out these types of, uh, whether it be analytical technologies, AI, machine learning, the whole corpus of being able to have data think for itself or around itself is now coming to a more state, a mature state where we've learned from some of the past mistakes that you can't completely remove the human from the equation. It's just going to enable people to make faster decisions and it's going to give people more of an empowerment, but it's not a replacement for human thinking. So it's just really an enabler. So and I think people are starting to understand that and applying it in the right way that they're going to get more meaningful results. Now, how do you see AI affecting the practice of information management and security? I think AI is going to have a tremendous impact in information governance, security, or really across the whole board when it comes to and building an information management system. It allows people to get a lot of data points about what their data is doing. Uh, we're seeing more of it being brought in, not just from the marketing side, but certainly on the security side, where people have an understanding of who's touching the data and when, being able to build uh, good governance programs, from everything from data disposition to access controls, being able to get a lot of access into what's happening with the data, and also automate some of the functions when it comes to response and security. So there's going to be, I think, a greater push into that market and being able to, again, enable people to make better decisions with a more rapid set of uh, response out of their data than they've ever been able to get before. All right, so fast forward a few years. Uh, what roles that are traditionally human-based now uh, do you foresee being fully automated by technology in the future? I think you can see more roles where there was more of the data jockeying of taking data from one system, uh, normalizing it, putting it into another system. Things like that that become manual labor that you have to do repeated tasks over and over again um, or have to do more manual labor when it comes to those types of analytics are going to be fully automated or at least almost fully automated by a lot of the functions that are happening now, you know, whether it be something that's happening on premise or in the cloud. People are building more of these systems now to automate their data flows. So we're gonna see a lot more of that in the future than I think we do now. Excellent. Now, when it comes to people, um, do you think there's a real risk of a uh, majority of people losing their jobs to technology, or do you think that um, there'll be some other, uh, like a shift of, uh, of labor? I think it's gonna see more of a shift. I think we're gonna see some you know, displacement of what people do, but for the most part, you're going to have people that uh, have more access to information, it's only gonna, essentially create more jobs. It's, we're a very data-driven, information-driven society, so getting more information and normalizing and understanding it's only going to create more jobs in the long run. So it's actually going to actually be, I think, a, a boom as opposed to a bust. Mm -hmm.